Hi there, let's go and do some um, cloth editing. What I've got over here is got a bit of cloth that we want to place in a wash basket. So the idea of what we're going to show is how to place it and to make it sort of go with some contours and be sort of cool and uh, all that. And there we go. So we've got sort of that type of thing. Just trying to fill the wash basket up with items. So if we look from sort of a distance, we've got things in there. We can colour them later. Right, so if we go over here and shift A, we've got um, basically it's just a box shape, it's got no depth to it, so just dragged it out and got some stuff on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to go and copy it, save copy, new layer, V for paste. I'm going to go and select all the points along the outside, so let's go and select those guys, those guys, those guys, those guys, missed a few, there we go. Okay, got those selected. Um, going to now go to multiply, press extender plus, if you've just done, H for stretch, and we'll just stretch out that way, stretch out that way, okay, then drop the selection, press the tab key, and we get this sort of pretty cool looking thing, we'll untab it for the moment, I'm going to go to uh, extrude, hold down control, drag that down, give a bit of depth to it, how's that looking, okay so it's got depth to it now, if we look on texture shaded, you can see what we've got now, yeah? And hit the tab key, and we've got a more or less pretty cool looking piece of kit. We'll um, shift A on it, matter of fact, we'll shift A on that one, and we'll H for stretch, hold down control, and we will thin it down a bit so it is quite thin. There we go. How's that look? That's looking better. Okay, so we're going to copy that, paste that into a new layer. Then look at what we've got on the other uh, channel. So leave that up, put those in the background. And I want to raise it up so it's above everything. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, it's going to be a bit too big. So let's um, shift H for sizing, size it down a tad. Uh, T for move, drag it up. And where are we going to place this? I think we're going to place it over here. Okay, we're going to rotate it a bit so it sort of fits in. Have it draping over in this corner in here, yeah? So shift A. So we're going to place it in the corner over there and that'll sort of do, I think. Let's try that there. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go and uh, edit this then. Let's go and quickly save it. File, uh, save object as. I'll call this 2. Save. Right, what we're going to use now is a magnet tool. So drop the hit space bar to drop the tool go to modify, go to magnet, drag out with your right hand mouse so you get this sort of fall off area so oops don't do that, don't do that so if I right hand click I can move this fall off while well, actually affecting it and let's go to the end of this so it's on that end point click over here and in this view I'm going to have a look and then just drag down see how that looks alright so that's going to that corner isn't it okay so let's uh, move that about there and then try that again okay so you can see it penetrating so let's like not have it penetrating let's have it sort of there right and click move it drag it down sort of there-ish okay and grab sort of that there and just pick that bit up a bit there we go alright let's go to the other corner so right and click to move it we'll take the size down right and click and drag and we'll drop into the corner, so right and click, right in that corner. So we're in this area now. And we're just in this viewport here, I'm just going to drag that down. So all I'm checking to see is if it's penetrating anywhere. And currently, we're not, so we're cool. So click and drag. Matter of fact, we can sort of bring it in a little bit. So that's sort of doing the biz. Let's go over to here, right hand click, drag there, and we'll drag that down. Okay, that's cool. And pull back up here. Go to this corner and see what we can do with that corner. Right, so let's um let's bring that down then. Let's go right into the corner of it for a start. There we go. Then this viewport just clipping left down mouse button and drag it down. Alright, let's have a look. We're pretty cool. We can sort of push it forwards a bit, stretch it a little bit. OK, 
OK and then I'm going to move over to the right mouse button to about there and drag that down a bit. OK, that's looking OK. Right, go to the middle and we'll just pull that up, give it a bit of roundness to it. Alright, that's OK. So, we're not looking too bad. Let's go to uh, this corner there. We'll pull that down a tad. Okay, that's now going through. Can we see that? There we go. It's now, go now going through here, so let's just push that up again. There we go. And then if I right and click, reduce it down a lot, right and click, move it to about there, and just push up. Or even pull down to a look. Now let's push it up. There we go. So now I've got that piece of cloth around the back. Alright, so let's go over to here and drag that down a bit. I'll say about there. And over here, I'll drag that down a tad. Alright, let's drag it down a bit more. And then go in and see, try and pick that one up. See if we can sort of do a bit of editing. Okay, let's have a look. Zoom in a bit. Okay, so we've got some penetration going on. Can you see this here? Just want to look, pick that up. So let's go here, right and click on that one, and pull that up. So that's okay. And then right and click to that one there, and pull that one up. That's okay. And then we can go to this one, and pull that down again. Alright, so we're getting this sort of sculpted around aren't we, more or less. Okay, let's have a look. Looking pretty cool and I think that will sort of do really. Let's go into do a few little edits here. Just go and pull that up. That's cool. Move over here. Just give it a bit of shape to it. A bit of roughing it around a bit. Where's that going? Alright. Okay, let's move that one to there. Pull that up. There we go. Just trying to get some bumps and lumps on it. There we go. And there. Uh, see where that goes. That's more like it. Alright, so we've got um, a draping cloth. How fantabulous is that? So that was with basically the magnet tool. Um, right hand click means I can move it around. Right hand click means I can resize it. Uh, left hand click means I'm going to go and do something with it. And if I don't drag in this viewport, it's just going to affect everything pointing down. So if I right hand click in this view, I can actually get a, a 3D representation of where I'm going to move things. But I don't want to do that because we're just doing a, a, uh, a cloth which is sort of of a infinitely thin thickness, if that makes any sense at all, which of course it doesn't. So um, that will conclude this. And if we sort of switch all these back on again, we've now got that. Click in the viewport. So we've now got um, this cloth happening. And it's sort of good enough for what we need to do, I think. And that will sort of do us. And uh, there you go. We're going to put it in textured mode. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is, I might even pull it around a bit more, but that is basically what we're looking for. Looking for a sort of a wash basket that's got some sort of washing in it. And uh, that, my friends, uh, is that. Conclusion and goodbye. Catch up.